let us now continue the patterns option we were seeing how to hatch a particular area by using the first tool that is hatch area option select hatch area and after seeing element intersection and union option let us now go for the difference option select difference and my spacing is set to 1 angle is 45 tolerance is 0 I'll select this rectangle and this rectangle both the rectangles I'm going to select using my left mouse button after which I'll go with the right click when we select the difference option and firstly we selected the bigger vertical rectangle then we selected the horizontal rectangle so when I go with right click from the first selection the second selection is removed and the remaining portion is hatched in order to delete it I'll again select this and delete it select hatch area difference option I'll first select the horizontal rectangle then the vertical rectangle then go with right click and now the second object is removed from the first object in this way we are going to create this hatch area depending upon the boolean operation over here whether you can go with union intersection or subtract we can even refer to it as difference alright so this is about your creation of hatch areas now whenever you were creating these hatches we were creating them and when we were to delete it we were using this option delete hatch or delete pattern option if instead of using this if I select this option and delete it even this gets deleted but sometimes over here I'll go with undo and when you remove this associative pattern I'll select it as that is I'll remove it after removing the associative pattern let us now again create a particular hatch in some other element I'll select this and hatch it element option select this the hatch has been created now I'll delete it and you can see that individual lines are deleting I'll go with undo and again the lines will come individually if I go with the delete pattern option select this and click on this the entire pattern is going to be deleted that is when your associative pattern option is disabled that is one application of your associative pattern apart from that suppose I create a rectangle over here now we have a bigger rectangle and a smaller rectangle in the bigger rectangle I'm going to create the pattern by enabling associative pattern select this and left click now I'll disable this and create it over here okay after creating these two if at all I'm modifying this particular rectangle over here we had disabled associative pattern and when I'm modifying the rectangle only the rectangle is going to be modified the pattern or the hash remains as it is whereas when you have associative pattern switched on when this option is turned on then there is an association maintained between the geometry which encloses the hatch and the hatch that is nothing but over here if I change the shape of the rectangle the hatch will also change with it there is an association maintained between the hatch which is created and the boundary if you switch on the associative pattern option okay so this is one application of associative pattern the next option over here is snappable pattern now again I'll use the same I'll select this delete this and when I try to delete this again I'll have to create it this time using snappable pattern option I'll switch this on and I'm creating the pattern over here with my snappable pattern option turned on I'll deselect this and I'll create it over here right now when I'm trying to draw a line from here till here you can see this uh, symbol over here near my cursor a cross appears this implies that I cannot snap at this hatch whereas if I have snap snappable pattern I'll be able to snap at the pattern that is I'll be able to select the endpoint midpoints of that particular pattern which I created the hatch which I created can be snapped when you have this option turned on that is snappable pattern 
Now I'll select this and when I'm trying to create it over here, I can directly snap to those points in this way, in this way. Whereas if I come over here, I get this symbol. That means I won't be able to snap exactly on these patterns. It won't move between one line to other line or between one key point to one another key point. Uh, that is midpoint, etc. Alright, so this is about your snap pattern. Let me delete this line and let us also delete wait, I'll just delete the entire thing select all and delete now I'm going to create a rectangle over here in this way let me dock this acute over here in which I'm again creating a few more objects in this way right again take up your hatch area option we have seen element intersection union difference next we'll go with the flood option the flood option over here I'll select and it brings up a sub menu for now I'll just go ahead and disable dynamic area we'll see what are these options first I'll switch on my locate interior shapes option and I'll click once over here and again click second time over here and you can see the hat is created between two closed loops between the outer rectangle and the second outer rectangle the hat gets created if suppose I have this locate interior shapes option disabled let me delete this select this and delete uh, deselect this now when I click twice over here this will act just like your element option that is it is not going to locate any interior shapes it does not take into consideration the interior geometries it will just create the uh, hatch in the entire figure so that is the use of your locate interior shapes option I'll delete this switch this on locate interior shapes and this time I'll select alternating area option when you click on the alternating area and then again click over here once second both the times I'm using my left mouse button itself and then you can see alternatingly the areas are going to be hatched the first area is hatched the second is left out the third area is hatched and the fourth one is left out if you have a fifth area it will be hatched and the sixth area will be left out from the hatch in this way you're going to create alternative hatches that is the alternating area option over here next if you have any text placed in between a drawing for example usually uh, you have some text placed such as for civil drawings it may be uh, the name of that particular room such as a drawing hall or living room or kitchen etc or for mechanicals they may have some text placed inside a drawing and when you have that you can avoid the area in which the text is placed by using locate text option anyway so far we haven't seen how to place text so we'll go for the dynamic area option I'll go ahead and delete this and this as well now I'll select this and switch on the dynamic area option when we switch on the dynamic area option and move our cursor towards the geometry instead of clicking the area that is going to be hatched is displayed by these bordered elements you can see right now the two outer loops are highlighted the thickness of the lines has increased whereas if I move my cursor inside now these two lines are highlighted similarly I'll move my cursor further inside and you can see these two lines are highlighted if I click over here and click again this particular area is going to be hatched that is nothing but like a preview of the area which is going to be hatched let me deselect this after I deselect it okay and I'll go ahead and select the dynamic area option and this time I'm going to click over here in this way it is going to be created so that is about your flood area flood option the next option is points option um, let me draw a figure over here or we'll use the same figure I'll just delete this and now in the hatch options let me choose points and I'm going to select the first point over here second point over here now in this way I can create my own geometry wherever I click that particular area is going to be hatched click over here 
click over here click at this particular point in this way in this way in this way as well then when you go with your right click that particular area is going to be hatched the hatching style is of course dependent upon spacing angle and tolerance in this way you are going to create the hatch using the points option click anywhere in this way in this way in this way and right click in order to hatch that area so those are all the sub options under your hatch area option so we have seen hatch area option and the cross hatch a option after selecting these two options over here again these options element intersection union difference all of them are repeated as usual from the previous tool points element intersection union the same thing is repeated in cross hatch area so i'll stop the session over here let us resume in the next session